dog. Dog, 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 dog. sleeping dog. So let it lie. Oh, why only sleeping dogs get to lie, but no one else gets to lie. No, lying is bad, unless you're a sleeping dog. Can I say this without YouTube thinking I'm referring to something else? Hem Hamans, H A M A N, plot to destroy the people of Israel. The Jews. Yes. No, no, mustache man. Was not the first one. And you're wondering why I call him that, it's because YouTube will not like it if I say his name. Yeah. YouTube doesn't like history. Even though, yes, history, some parts of history are bad. Or downright evil. Doesn't mean we pretend they don't, didn't happen. But yeah. Anyway, after these events, King Xerxes honored Hena, Haman's Haman, son of Hamadatha, H A M M E D A T H A, King of no the Agite. Elevated meeting him and giving him a seat of honor higher than all the other nobles. All the royal officials at the king's gate knelt down and paid honor to Haman for the king had commanded his no commanded this concerning him. But Mordecai would not kneel down or pray or pay honor to pay him honor Okay. I guess that is his own personal choice. I know there was freedom of religion in some form in Persia. Not about freedom of expression or speech, but No, probably may have been anyone who wasn't the king. You can say anything you want about. I guess that's some form. I don't know. Eh, probably some places it was freer and some places it wasn't. Anyway, then the royal officials at the king's gate asks, Orkai, why do you disobey the king's command? Day after day they spoke to him, but he refused to comply. Therefore they told Haman about Haman about it to see whether Mordecai's behavior would be tolerated. For he told them he was a Jew. Why does that matter? It's because people long before the modern day movement of hating Jews also hated them back then. Apparently when you get God's, being God's chosen people, a lot of people get jealous. <laughs> Something. But I don't think killing God's chosen people will make you God's chosen people. <laughs> I think that would just make God angry. <laughs> like he did. And destroy you. Like he did with literally every single nation that tried to kill all the Jews. That's a German. Oh, uh, no, no, Germany got um, absolutely demolished by the Soviet Union in the United States. Anyway, when Haman saw that Mordecai would not kneel down or pay honor to him, he was enraged. Yet, having learned 
who Mordecai's people were. He scorned the idea <coughs> of o killing only Mordecai. Instead, Hanan looked for a way to destroy all Mordecai's people, the Jews, throughout the whole kingdom of Xerxes. That's the entire Prussian Empire. If you don't know, that will stretch all the way from modern-day Turkey to India and Egypt and I believe some of the Caucasus and maybe even Turkmenistan. I don't remember exactly how it's big. But it is pretty big. I don't know why he wants to do this. Oh, because one guy doesn't bow down to him. He wants to perform an ancient no-no event. Um, hmm. Okay. Also, I'm not censoring the Bible here. I'm censoring what I say. My comments on it. I shall not censor the Bible. I can censor myself or other things. I'm not doing sense of the word of God. Okay? It's just like, that's a bit of... Actually, no, saying it's a bit of a reaction to another statement. What in the world is wrong with this guy? In the twelfth year of King Xerxes, in the first month of Nishan, N-I-S-A-N, the pure, P-U-R, that is the lot was cast in the presence of Haman select a day and a month well then that's a big <laughs> system maybe it's worth something oh, anyway and the lot fell on Septuagint Hebrew does not have and the lot fell on interesting the twelfth month of Adar, A D A R. <laughs> then Nehemon said to King Xerxes, There is a certain people dispersed among the peoples in all the provinces of your kingdom who keep themselves separate their customs are different from those of all other people dude the Persia's also monotheistic religion what the freak are you talking I guess it's some Jewish everything else about the two religions are different but they're both monotheistic And they do not obey the king's laws. Any proof? It is not in the king's best interest to tolerate them. If it pleases the king, let a, a decree be issued to destroy them, and I will give 10,000 talents. That is about 375 tons, or about 400 and, I mean, 340 tons. No, metric tons, yeah. Also, I guess I didn't really need to say metric tons. You probably heard a different number, and you would use metric to call them tons, and we're like, okay. <laughs> probably still okay. I'm only clarifying for the really easily confused. And that's okay, because if someone needs clarification, they should get it if they're willing to accept it. Not nah, that's kind of on it. Anyway, of silver to the king's ministers for the royal treasure. So the king took his signet ring from his finger and gave it to Hanun, son of Hedekiah. Oh yeah, this was the scene where we acted out where the guy gave me the ring. Then I, like, gave it back to him, and we just, like, shrugged at each other. 
it was weird when we were acting this out because remember I'm I don't know why Drixies went along with it maybe he was tricked the agate the enemy of the Jews that's an understatement keep it the money oh yeah <laughs> it's like it's like no the, I don't know exactly think you know he, and put it back and like no the king said to him and do what the people and do with the people as you please right then the 13th day of the first month the royal secretaries were summoned I mean, oh, okay. They wrote out in the script of each province, oh, so everyone can read, makes sense, and in the language of each people, all of Hammond's orders to the king's sand traps, or the words governors, basically. That's the closest equivalent. The governors of the various provinces and the nobles of the various peoples these were written in the name of King Xerxes himself and sealed with his own ring dispatches were sent by curious no carriers to all the king's provinces with the order to destroy kill and annihilate all the Jews young and old, women and children, on a single day. <coughs> skinny mustache man would... This is where skinny mustache man gets the idea. I see. The 13th day of the 12th month Months of Andor, that's why he was doing the he selected that day, and plunder their goods, and to plunder their goods. A copy of the text of the edict was to be issued as law in every province and made known to the people of every nationality so they would be ready for that day. Their the carriers went out, spread on by the king's command, and the edict was issued to the, oh, in the citadel of Susa, S-U-S-A. The king and Haman sat down to drink, but the city of Susa was bewildered. They were like, why? Yeah, good reaction. Uh, yeah, I would be confused of my any any from any political party of my country leadership decided to send out a letter of ge to saying to commit genocide. I was like, um, uh, uh, okay. Ten fifty one. I wouldn't do that. I would reject my country if any order from anyone to commit genocide. I would no. <laughs> and you should too. Genocide's not okay. I think I would leave or rebel. In that case, yeah, it's okay to rebel. Anyway.